So my mental health journey um, goes back a couple years ago. My big sister, Ella, died by suicide in 2018. Kind of just flipped my family's world upside down. We kind of didn't know, know where to go, didn't know what to do. Felt like I was running in quicksand. Just didn't feel like myself. Um, you know, I didn't really care to wake up, didn't really care to go to sleep. It was kind of just going through the motions and had uh, my general manager, John Lynch, come talk to me and um, ask if I needed help. And that's when I realized that, you know, I, I need help and um, I need to make my mental health a priority. To stay mentally healthy, one of the things I like to do is to read a book. Reading helps me um, with my mental health because it just, I'm an overthinker and it really just lets me kind of zone off and get off my thoughts. It lets me escape whatever reality I'm in and just let me kind of be in my own little zone where I don't have to really worry about anything but the book I'm reading. We're looked at as these big, tough, you know, strong guys, you know, who have it all together, especially in a sport like football that's very macho. You know, we're struggling too. I'm a professional athlete. I've fought through depression before. I've, I fight through anxiety. And the reality is that everyone goes through this every day, that, you know, everyone is experiencing mental health problems, illnesses, and it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel weird. It's okay to feel awkward. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel depressed. Like, these are emotions that we all go through and we need to embrace these emotions and, and have ways and methods to work through them. 